What if I came up to you and I offered my homemade painting of Mona Lisa? I told you that I'd worked really hard on it and you know, I think I deserve $500 for it. Would you buy it? Obviously, I'd hope not. I mean, that's not even my painting. Mine would probably be even worse than that. So it's fine, you know, say no. But that doesn't stop me, I'm determined. I spend the next five years mastering my painting ability and I come back to you with a much better version of my Mona Lisa painting. Would you buy it then? Mom, this question isn't for you. I know that you would buy it just to support me, but for the rest of you, I still imagine that the answer would be no. Why would you need a knockoff Mona Lisa painting? See, now I got to really confuse you on Elon Musk's ex-wife and a Mona Lisa painting. How does this relate? It all goes back to a Quora question. Someone asked, will I become a billionaire if I am determined to be one and to put in the work required? And this is a question that a lot of people ask. Maybe not to become a billionaire, but to simply become rich. It's the biggest misconception of our time and learning the other side of things will help you out immensely. See, the American dream and the road to riches is not fueled by hard work alone. Hard work is incredibly important, but it's definitely not the only factor. Which is exactly why her answer is no. You will not become a billionaire from working hard. She steps back and states that the Quora reader is asking the wrong question altogether. To quote her beautifully worded answer, she says, you're determined. So what? You haven't been racing naked through shark infested waters yet. Will you be just as determined when you wash up on some deserted island, disoriented and bloody and ragged and beaten and naked? staring into the horizon with no sign of rescue. She continues her answer by offering some advice. She says, if you'd like to become successful and achieve your billion dollars, you have to get deep. You have to seriously ponder and become intensely curious about what the world needs. So you see the connection to the Mona Lisa painting now? You can work incredibly hard at something that you're very passionate about. You can work at it for 20 years and you can still be broke. Doesn't matter that you're working hard. You can be the best in the world at painting Mona Lisas, but if market doesn't want it, you'll, you won't do anything. You'll go nowhere. The world doesn't throw a billion dollars at someone because they noticed how hard they were working and they thought they deserve it. The world doesn't even care one bit about what you want or what you think that you deserve. It's a little harsh, but it's the truth. The only thing the world does is give you money in exchange for something that it perceives to be of equal or of greater value. And along with figuring out what people value, you have to start focusing on your process and your own unique talents. The second biggest red flag behind the hard work misconception is when people become obsessed with the destination. As seen from this Quora question, this person seems heavily focused on the end goal, having that a billion dollars in his hand. You see, everybody wants to be rich, but nobody spends the long hours planning and focusing on how to get there. So to begin, you step back and you ask yourself, what do you have to offer that is so unique and compelling and helpful that you cannot be replaced by the thousands lined up behind you. Because trust me, there are thousands lined up ready to do exactly what you're trying to do. Okay, now take what you have to offer and develop it out. What topics could you become a master of? Choose two and take your time to study all that you can. Now combine those two in a unique way. Becoming good at each isn't good enough. For example, let's say that you combine engineering and business. Well, that's a combo that a lot of people have tried, so you need more. Bring those two topics together with your own unique spin so that new ideas can be introduced between them. What niche do you know a lot about? What are problems that you've heard other people talk about within that niche? Thinking deeply about this from day to day will give you a competitive advantage because you can move between both worlds, you can speak both languages, and you can mash the elements together to spark fresh creative insight until you wake up one day with the epiphany that changes your life. And not to miss that she points out the fact that there is no roadmap. It will be incredibly difficult and nobody will be able to come into your life and give you a plan, give you all the answers. You have to work through your process every day. When that 23 year old tech founder sells her company for 34 million, everybody hears about the success, right? But what's not usually covered? The long hours of coding, the late nights, the days working in the garage, the credit card debt the company started on, the years of driving around that old rusty Toyota with 180,000 miles. And not to mention the days when something went wrong, 
panic rolled in and the day became the most stressful that she's had since the last week when the same thing happened. There's a comparison that I love which calls the path to success a toll road. Only usually toll roads are maintained a little bit nicer than normal ones, right? Well, for this toll road, not only will you have to pay to stay on it, but it will be dark, it will be covered in potholes, it will be unpaved, and it will be terrifying. You'll have to be courageous. You'll have to challenge your core beliefs about debt, time, education, money, responsibility, and so much more. But if you're truly determined to become a billionaire, that won't scare you. You'll be ready to start the process as soon as this video ends. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you apply it to your own life on your own journey to success. Justine Musk's last words to that poor reader were good luck because you're gonna need it. So I'll say the same to you. Good luck and I wish you the best. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you again next week.